Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, I got it out of the ceiling. I used the uh, straps and uh, an additional hook I put up there, and I lowered it with the straps uh, without killing myself. If this thing weighs 35 pounds, I'd be surprised. But, uh, you know, when it's 14 feet in the air, it makes a big difference. Uh, this cabinet and this air handler was smaller, is smaller than the R410 uh, version. So this right here fits that duct up there, uh, which is the um, supply. And I'm going to have to rework that duct because it is not big enough for the 410 version. And what I'm going to do, um, well, first let me say this. That area up in the attic is totally and completely inaccessible. And I mean inaccessible. So there is no building a new plenum. There, you know, there's none, none of that is an option. So everything I do, I have to do from the outside here. Now, the original guys, when they put it in, I'm absolutely 100% certain that uh, none of that uh, wallboard was up. They had open framing, and they were working with open framing when they did that. Um, so what I'm going to do is make some measurements. And uh, by the way, it's the height of that opening in that duct right up there. It's not going to fit, and I haven't measured it out, but it's probably only a matter of three or four inches, but that's enough. <laughs> that's enough to, to make a lot of work. Well, what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'm going to open up the wall from the inside here, inside the uh, garage, surrounding that... Um, plenum and what I'm going to do is uh, about halfway around I'm going to take about uh, uh, as much as I can there's not a lot on this side here uh, to take out but uh, up above I'll take four or six inches as far as I can go uh, above and you know a few inches on the side so that I can reach my hands in from the garage side and I can work on that duct on that duct board up there and what I'm going to try to do is transition it to a larger size that will accommodate the new air handler and uh, hang on a second I'm, I'm looking for my tape measure let me uh end this right now and I'm going to see what the difference in size is. Okay, we should all be uh, born with the ability to make measurements without a ruler because it uh, seems I spent a good portion of my life looking for a tape measure. And actually this time around I didn't find one either, but I did find a yardstick. So anyway, uh, the height of this cabinet is 21 inches. And that thing is sized, you know, so that you could tape it to the cabinet. You can see the tape here. Anyway, between this cabinet and the other cabinet, the new cabinet for the new air handler, this one's 25 inches. There's a four inch difference. So I have to open that thing up four inches. And so what I'm thinking of doing, uh, you can see this little drawing I made here is, uh, hang on a second, and get it over here where I can point at it. I'm going to try to cut that duct work so that I can make a transition four inch, and I'll go back as far as I can. Um, so hopefully that'll fix that. On the other side, this is the way it is right now, by the way, or was, and this is the way I'm going to make it. This is a the crazy setup they did on the other side for the return. They have a plenum that actually comes through the ceiling like this and it has two 14 inch return hoses attached to it and so all of that air is getting sucked in from, from the house 
down and makes a 90 degree burn, uh, bend and goes in this way. Uh, really crazy. I'm just going to build a plenum on the other side of the wall inside the attic, probably the way it should have been done, and put the two 14 inches hose, uh, hoses on opposing ends of that plenum and it's going to come straight through the wall. Uh, if you see what I'm talking about here, look at this crazy thing they did here. That plenum right there does not go through the wall. It comes through the ceiling, believe it or not. And uh, you can see, if you look up there, I removed one of the hoses, but that's where one of the 14 inches uh, came into that plenum. And there's another one on this other side here, on the opposite side, up in the ceiling. And uh, this isn't going to work because the cabinet uh, is longer. The new one, the 410, is longer, so I'd have to cut that width down to about half of what it is now to fit the cabinet in there. And that will further reduce the amount of air coming through there, or resistance to air coming through there. So that's no good. Why they didn't just come through the wall here, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Who knows uh, what's going through the minds of uh, some of these guys when they do stuff like that. But uh, I looked at it, and uh, here's the attic opening right here. You can see the hose, the return hose there. I can go straight, right straight through this uh, piece of wall board here, right here, with a plenum right into the, right into the uh, air handler. So. Anyway, that stupid thing is going to come out. What I'm probably going to do is uh, cap it off with a piece of duckboard up around where the ceiling is because I don't want to have to uh, uh, put any sheetrock up there. I don't want to have to deal with wallboard. I can just cap that thing off with a piece of uh, uh, duckboard and I'll have uh, a little you know, remnant sticking out of the ceiling there. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, tonight's the night. You can see I, uh, I cut a piece of sheetrock above the uh, plenum up there. And uh, that gives me some access up there. I can see what's going on. Unfortunately, they have a 2 by on both sides of that plenum up there so I'll have to cut another hole probably off to the left here so that I can reach my hand in behind uh, once I get the new uh, newly shaped plenum in place so that I can tape it up and that kind of thing. Um, I'll do the best I can with the camera. I don't know how much I can you know, actually capture on camera uh, doing this because of where it is but uh, I'll try. Welcome back uh, YouTube. Um, I promise you a video of this, but uh, unfortunately, I couldn't, I really couldn't get a good video from uh, the perspective I was at. I was a tripod down there on the floor, and uh, uh, all you got was a shot of my fat ass. So, uh, this is the aftermath of what I did. As you can see, even with the top portion of this plenum, I cut off 12 inches. Cut a 12 inch section out of this from the lip back. And I'm going to have a piece on here that's going to angle up. At an angle. I've already made it, by the way. I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> but that's uh, pretty much what I did. And this area in here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, you can't. I could see from the camera. You can't see what I'm seeing. But uh, this uh, whole area is uh, quite inaccessible. I may have to. This is off to the left now. 
I may have to cut another hole in here just to just to tape up the sides of this thing and maybe the top. And uh, on this side, I don't know what I'm going to do because <clears throat> over here they frame this uh, plenum in. Over here's a piece of wood, and behind it I can feel there's another two by behind it. So I can't even cut this out. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to try to figure out how I'm going to tape this off behind here. Um, uh, I may be able to, when I cut a hole in over here, I may be able to reach in and smooth the tape over with my hand uh, from this from this end. Uh, well, well, we'll get it done one way or another. We'll get it done. This is the uh, section I told you I already made it. You can see there's a lap joint here. I made these two end pieces and a top and I've got uh, a little bit of foil overhanging here so that I can uh, maintain the vapor barrier and uh, what I also did was I'm trying to square this off a little bit I used some uh, great stuff, you know, which is an expandable foam. And uh, I didn't use it because, you know, I was worried about air leaks and th that kind of thing because the tape does a pretty good job. I use it as an adhesive because it has a very strong adhesive in it. And uh, we don't want this thing blowing off, okay, when it's attached up there. It's going to be butt you know, butt attached up there and this is going to attach the backboard you saw up there uh, on the top and then of course tape down but uh, like I said don't want it to uh, you know, blow off or anything like that so uh, this stuff really has a great adhesive in it I don't know what it is but polyurethane probably but uh, it's going to work out pretty good now <clears throat> I'll show you how to do these ship laps here well, the top sits down into the ship lap and I drew this thing out on a CAD program but if you don't have a CAD program of course you can draw it out by hand uh, this was a little area here this is the piece I cut out here that's these two side pieces and then I cut a ship lap into it right here to support support the top and you can see the dimensions on it here's 12 inches an inch and a half this is the uh, top piece of the plenum right here <clears throat> that we're butting up into this is going to butt onto the bottom of the plenum the whole plenum shown here and uh, again I'll use the sealant when I butt it up to here and uh, I still need to cut out a ship lap here on the front for reasons I'll explain later hey okay welcome back uh, as you can see I've expanded the uh, duct, the plenum, in the upper direction like I wanted to. It went from 21 to 25 inches, the opening. And so when I made it up to the cabinet, the cabinet will mate. You can see, uh, once again, I used the expandable foam. Um, as an adhesive, I really like like it as an adhesive. I should mention that this is the uh, window and door uh, expandable foam. Uh, it's it's a low um, expandable foam. It doesn't expand a lot, so you don't want to be blowing this thing out 
we primarily want it not just to seal air, but we want it to um, adhere, you know, the additional ductwork, especially since we butt, butted this, you know, it's a, it's a butt joint. And, uh, when, you know, when it cures, I'll come back and I'll trim that stuff off with the, uh, you know, utility knife. But uh, uh, we're good. And this additional space up here, it's all dark in there. I know you can't see up there, but that gave me enough uh, wiggle room. It gave me enough uh, hand room to smooth out the tape. On, on this, I uh, put some tape on it. Actually, I put the sides like this right here, this side here. I put the two sides on first before I put this uh, piece in. So they were there and they were loose. And uh, I was able to get it in without getting anything stuck to it. And when I put this in, it already had a piece of tape in the back to tape it down to the existing um, plenum. So, so the aluminum tape is all the way around, and it's all, it's all uh, I won't say squeegee down, but it's pressed down by hand as best I could get it. Uh, once again, that area up there is totally inaccessible.